Good morning students. Today we shall understand about food chains and food webs. Students, in the environment there is no single organism which can survive independently. It has to depend on other organisms for its food and survival. Right? So now, the representation of food relationships between the organisms in the form of a chain is what is called as food chain. So, what is a food chain? It is the representation of food relationships between the organisms in the form of a chain. So, in a food chain, the organisms, the group of organisms are connected through arrows and these arrows always direct from food source to feeder. So, for instance, if you take this group of organisms, here we can represent the food chain as grass is eaten by rabbit, rabbit is eaten by snake and snake by eagle. And in between these organisms, we have to keep arrows, right? That is from uh, food to feeder. This is food, this is feeder. This is food, feeder, food, feeder, right? So this is what is called as food chain. And what does food chains represent? Food chains represent the transfer of energy among different organisms. So if you take this food chain, here, the energy is transferred from grass to rabbit, rabbit to snake, and then snake to eagle. Got it? Now, let us see the general format of a food chain. So, any food chain starts with producer, followed by primary consumer, next is secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, quaternary consumer. Students, the consumers have other names too, right? Primary consumer is called as herbivore because it feeds on producer. Secondary consumer is primary carnivore. Tertiary is secondary carnivore. Quaternary, tertiary carnivore. Got it? So, now this is the general format of food chain. And in the general format, if you see, each level of the food chain is called as trophic level. So, this is one trophic level, another, next, next, next. So, always the first trophic level should be with producers, followed by primary consumers, secondary consumers and so on. Got it? I hope you understood. This is about food chains. Now, let us see about food webs. So, what is a food web? Food webs are complex networks of interconnected food chains. Students in nature, the food chains does not exist independently. Actually, they are interconnected with other food chains to form complex network. See here, this is a simple food web. Here, there are three food chains. This one, this one and this one. All these food chains are connected at this point. See, so this vulture is eating tiger as well as crane. So, connecting these three food chains. Got it? This is a simple food web. But in complex food web, if you see, there are several food chains which have connections, cross links here and there. Got it? So, this is a complex food web. Now, what are the advantages of these food chains? Food chains actually, I mean food webs. Food webs actually provide alternate food for the organisms. See, if you see here, if the frogs are eliminated from the nature for some reason, then the predator of frog that is snake has to die off, but it does not happen because Snake can eat alternate foods like rats or the birds. See here. Got it? So, organisms can find alternate foods if there are food webs. Got it? And this leads to the stability of the ecosystem. Got it, students? This is the reason why food webs are developed in the nature. Now, what is uh, the importance of food web? Actually, food webs also expresses the food relationships. You can find food relationships of the organisms from the food web. Got it students? So this is about food webs. I hope you understood what are food chains and food webs. Thank you.